Bonjour à tous, soyez les bienvenus dans Spotlight. Comment Hello and welcome to Spotlight. How to regenerate, bring new life to underpopulated regions. Japan, with its aging population, is using innovative digital technologies in a new program, Digital Garden City, to do just this. More in this report from Laurence Alexandrovitch and our team in Japan. In 60 years, the village of Kamiyama lost 70% of its population. Yes, it is still an example of how to beat this trend. This village of 5,000 people has awakened thanks to one man and intensive broadband development. I asked myself, can I transform this beautiful place into a Silicon Valley? And that's why I began the digitalization of the town. A dozen or so companies set up satellite offices, often in renovated traditional houses. Most are from the information and telecommunications sector. Accompanied by Green Valley, this Tokyo entrepreneur opened the village's largest satellite office in 2013, employing around 15 people. In our case, employees can choose to work either in Tokyo or Kamiyama. The positions and salaries are fundamentally the same in both places. I think the number of companies using digital technology in rural areas will only go up. Today, the number of people moving to Kamiyama is higher than the number leaving. 70% of the children in the nursery are from families who have moved to Kamiyama. The regeneration of Kamiyama began in 1999 with the hosting of artists from Japan and elsewhere. Then, Green Valley decided to start making it easier for companies to relocate here. We want to build a town where you can sense the potential and feel the excitement. So we support companies by, for example, showing them properties and putting them in contact with neighbours. The city of Ina is also using digitalization to improve local people's life. It delivers the elderly with drones, or like here brings the hospital closer to the elderly and isolated patients. There are not many doctors in Japan's rural areas. To solve the problems this creates, we believe we need to take the health services to the patients using technology and remote medical care. Here, in the Japanese Alps, it often snows in winter, another obstacle to get around. The mobile clinic was a boon for Mr. Nishimura. He was able to access treatment at home an hour from the nearest hospital. A doctor from the hospital conducts the consultation via video conference. When I go to hospital, there are people around and there are things I don't get to say. Here, face to face, I feel I can really explain my concerns. What really impressed me was the stethoscope. I am surprised we can share the sound online with the doctor. <laughs> Reducing travel time means I can see more patients. Regional revitalization in Japan is not just about rural areas. Another province that wants to attract new residents is Fukushima, evacuated after the 2011 nuclear catastrophe. Since 2014, this incubator in Minamisoma has welcomed startups, sometimes from other regions. Its founder is also determined to accelerate the return of evacuees to his city, 20 kilometers from the power plant. If there are a lot of problems and people don't think they can live here, well, I'm ready to create 100 or even 1,000 small and medium-sized companies, and that's my mission. Among the 18 businesses launched with the support of Odaka Workers' Base is one started by a professional rider. His company offers horseback tours for tourists in a town famous for its equestrian traditions. 
The head of the workers' base, Mr. Wada, acted as a mentor, putting me in contact with some significant investors. The Yakuba team opened an artisanal sake brewery, the famous Japanese beverage, and setting up shop in this area is no small matter. Working here makes me feel I can add something to our fabrication. For example, in a zone close to the power plant, there are rice growers, and we can showcase their efforts through our sake to the whole world. In Minamisoma, there is an innovation movement for the future. Revitalization is not only through digital but also through technology, and this unique robot testing center settled in the city has a role to play. In the air, on the water, on the ground, companies test all types of robots, particularly those specializing in disaster work. Robots can, for example, deliver shopping or medicine in isolated zones. Professor Suzuki, you're the director of this test center in Fukushima. What is the role of robots in revitalizing regions? The introduction of robots in rural zones is very promising. We need people capable of making them work, but also training and monitoring them. I think that creating these jobs in rural areas could help revitalize them. Thank you, Professor Suzuki, and thanks to you for following our report. See you soon on Spotlight.